What is up, guys? It is about 7 o'clock in the morning. I'm back in Moncton, New Brunswick. And I've got a special delivery coming today. I'm super excited. I've got uh, my jacket on. I've got my hoodie on. A little balaclava. You guys can see outside. You guys can see outside. It's a little dark and snowy. So that's what we're in for. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, guys, you remember this. Last time we were here, it was the summertime. We had BMWs out. And now we don't, we got the snow out. This might be it right here, to be honest. This might be it, to be honest. I'm pretty sure that was him and he just drove by. So he's gonna probably be pulling a U-turn momentarily. I believe so. Be patient. Here he comes. Here he comes. Wave him down. Guys still can't see what's behind there yet. That's a cool little uh, rig, eh? That's her, eh? That's the girl. That's the beast. We got the boss here inspecting the new purchase we got her warming up inside huge huge shout out jim gilbert's wheels and deals check them out because they got the deals on wheels and they'll bring them right to you guys don't miss out here you go Hi. looks a little over on that side but yeah, she's kind of straightening herself out. You just roll her, yeah, there she is. <laughs> ATV, it's all good. There we are. Got her. Jeez. I've seen people dump through that. Glad I did. Got our boy Jim Gilbert. <laughs> Look, you can put him on Here the bike. Here we go. <laughs> so it's a quick little walk around, guys. I gotta get to work. Oh, he didn't take them. Whatever, we got a whole another six pack. I bought buddy a case of beer. He didn't take them. He said Mikola Ultras. I'm like, buddy, they only had Peronis. He says, fuck that. I'm leaving them on the street. <laughs> so, all right. He gave us a beer. Show us the beer. Jim Gilbert. <laughs> all right, guys. This is a 2023. Kawasaki 750 Brute Force. Oh, it looks mean, man. Like, you guys can tell compared to the, the Polaris video. This is honestly like the same size. I don't think this is any bigger or smaller than the Polaris. This is literally the same size, same layout. Pretty cool. Got some real nice rims on it as well. Nice red. Might go ahead, wrap it, plastic dip it. We'll see, whatever's easiest. <laughs> Because wrap might be a little bitch on this, eh? What's it it's plastic. This is all plastic. But I'm just thinking to wrap in some of these corners. That's going to be a pain in the end. Right? We're going to have to take all these plastics off. Inlays, inlays. But hey, it's what it is. Part of the game. All right. Should I move this around and uh, get in the back? I got to get going to work. Oh, God. We got the Mini Cooper right here. Ontario Plate. All the way back from New Brunswick. Our boy Brent. I appreciate him hooking this deal up. I'm gonna film a little more detail video obviously later. All right guys, what is up? It is the end of the day. Well, the beginning of the new, beginning of some fun. Let's just say that uh, my work day is over. The day is still here. We got lots of light left and we have this beautiful Kawasaki brute forest. Just picked it up. You guys saw the delivery. I honestly only rode it around these little tracks and then we planted it right here. I had to go to work for the day, work first, play later. But uh, let's just do a little quick walk around. So this is the beast. First thing I noticed is man, these rims. I love those, man. They look nice and aggressive, little rotors. 
Everything's just super uh, shiny on this thing. Brand new machine, 50 kilometers on it. 2023 Kawasaki Brute Force 750. Man, that's a mouthful. But super excited to get on this beast and uh, see what she does, especially we have all this land that we can just go explore and have fun with. So. What up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. <laughs> Get it boys, pull my beer. Smoking like Uncle Snoop right now, but it's all right. Woo. That's how you break in your new machine, guys. It's pretty much, we're just gonna hit some uh, toboggans now <laughs> and uh, de-elevate. Hold on, I'm gonna go beside you and film. <laughs> okay, three. I might fall off though. You gotta go first. I can't go! I don't know what's gonna happen. This hill is steep. I don't know if you guys can see. Like, that's almost. First. Hey. Alright. Alright. Go. go. Don't die. What is up guys the next day uh we had a lot of fun on the atv yesterday we can see here we got the beast we had a lot of fun with it yesterday and we pushed it to some limits today we're gonna try to push those limits a little bit further so keep up with us and uh let's see what this beast can do look at this thing compared to i just parked it beside the mini cooper just so you can see one, it's either the mini small or this thing's pretty big, but they look sick together. Both of them side by side. Okay, just like, yeah, go, go. Go a little more harder on the throttle, harder on the throttle. Go, 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 go.
Look at you! <laughs> You're such a little bean on that thing. <laughs> huh? Yeah, you're dipping. I go. I'm gonna go behind it, just do a full throttle, like literally push it all the way down and just spin away. Three, two, one. opens up and you can feel the wind coming like I don't know if you guys can see all the waves but the water is pretty um, pretty rough right now we got a nice breeze I'm sure you can hear it on the camera all right guys so it is the end of the day it's pitch black outside I try to get a little bit of footage for y'all but it was pretty windy my phone ended up dying because it was so cold outside so there's really nothing else to do. So why not? We got a little bit of time. Let's see if we can wrap this bad boy. So. Hey guys, what's going on? So this oh. <laughs> is what we were going to be doing. So I don't know how good this is going to go. This is some vivid. And you can literally see the vinyl is separating from the backing. I've had this sitting in a garage since 2018 and it's currently 2024 so y'all do the math on that one it's been sitting you can see it literally just scratched the actual color off on some parts a little rough but i think it's just enough if not more than enough to do this entire thing so i already went ahead and i stripped down the rear seat <laughs> Okay, so we cleared some of the space. There's a little more room to kind of get around all that fun stuff. We got uh, the front part taken apart. I went ahead, I got the 12 millimeter for this uh, bar on the front of the ATV. Looks like there's just a couple of bolts there. That comes off. All this plastic, I got that off. So I'm just going to literally just put this over here as is, so when it comes time to it, I can just put it all back together. One second. Hey guys, it's officially ready. <laughs> Look at this. If you were to actually get up close, I'm sure you can find a million problems with this wrap, but it is literally like a six, seven year old vivid wrap that was left in the garage. There's little to no tack left on it. And I think we did all right job, man. This looks, uh, I mean, you guys tell me what it looks like. I think it looks pretty badass, especially in the winter now. The only thing I kind of hate is that so much red in there maybe i'll plasti dip it tonight just the inside just so it's all black but man 
and this is the snowstorm I was telling you that's going on. We're gonna go rip around and uh, we'll have some fun. We're gonna go to the little spots we went to uh, the other day, just all the way down there into the forest. So I just got this beast out here. We're just gonna let her warm up. I'm gonna close up the garage, clean up a little bit more. You guys can see, man, this is all the water that I brought in for, with it from the snow that melted off. So I just need to clean up the excess little wrap. But yeah, man, she's looking mean. I'm super hyped to get out on the trail, rip around and get some videos of this thing. It's crazy how it's literally just been over 24 hours and this is how much <laughs> we've done to the machine so far. It's fully wrapped, but you know us guys, we don't like to waste any time when it comes to modifications. And I think it's looking pretty badass. This is exactly what I envisioned when I first got it. Matter of fact, before I even got the machine, all I was picturing was whatever machine I was gonna get just wrapped in this color in the middle of a snowstorm and here it is. So I'm super hyped to get out and get some cool photos of it. I think it's gonna look awesome. Stalled it out. The ATV stopped, guys. <laughs> Look at this. We're literally trapped in the middle of the snowstorm. Hey, I'm gonna send it. I'm gonna send it. Hold this. Oh god. Oh my god, guys. All right, we just made it to this little forest spot. It's a lot more calm here. The wind isn't killing us. The snow is still coming down super, super heavy. Let's go take a look at the machine because this thing, I thought we were stuck there for a second, honestly. Looks like it is smoking a little bit, but it's probably because there's so much snow. It probably can't breathe. Look at that. Oh my God. Get all the snow out of here. Literally just melted on all these lines. I absolutely blasted here. Look at it. Oh my god. Huh? Me? What do we have here? I'm resting. <laughs> For what? I have snow in my eyes. Yeah. <laughs> I need goggles. Someone sponsor us. Yeah, we need goggles. Uh, if anyone, if anyone's watching out there that has a sick ass goggle company, please sponsor us because we need goggles out here. We can't be doing this. We're gonna get. We're gonna go blind eventually. Oh my God. We're like sand dusting our eyes.
We got stuck! Hold on, let me get off. Oh my god! I wish I got that on video. Oh my God, but I needed both my hands. Oh, we did it. Oh my God. Yo, I just got so much snow in my mouth. Oh my God, I looked back and I couldn't see you. And I was like, oh my God, I killed him. I feel like I couldn't stop. Like I had to keep going. No, this is so bad guys. This is like the little driveway that we get down to go to this little spot we go to. And it was a lot bad, a lot worse on the way home. Sideways, I saw that, I was so scared. Yeah. Oh my God. We got it up, it's all that matters. We have gas, we have gas. Oh. I guess we're not doing this anymore today. Uh, oh my God, guys, look at all the snow that's inside this thing. Still going hard. How many kilometers we got on it? 246 kilometers, baby. That's how you break in a machine. Oh, baby, full send it. I want you to send it past me, full throttle. Show them how it's done. I think something's wrong with it though. I think oh, there's so much snow jammed up inside. It's not fully spinning. I think something with the axles or something. But let's get back to the house.